special, so special why? Because it's with the one and only Mr. Vegas right here on Fever TV. Mr. What do you say? Mr. You good? Yeah, man. You're back. Because you started out originally as right. a singer. Right. Well, even before that, I was really like uh, a singer, singer like Sanchez and you know right. that, that vibe. I'm um, going to school, you know, going around sound system. Right. You know, in early days, you know, when I hooked up with Dan Youth, it was basically like you know singing like vocalists, you know. Um, but then you know everyone needed their own style. Right. You know, so that, that style just came about after a broken jawbone incident. Right, yeah, I was, I was, right. I was going to get yeah. to the, uh, the, the jawbone, but before right. that, though, you, why, were you, why did you get into trouble in the dance hall with your lyrics? Because it was almost like you were a troublemaker, people say. No, 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 no? actually, no, it, was, it wasn't even about that. It was um, the broken, if you're talking about the broken jawbone incident, it was just basically some guy that we did some dub plates for, and right. some yeah. mixed up we went on, and, you know, you know, it was just an unfortunate situation. But the thing was, though, from that unfortunate situation, right. You heard okay. Beanie Man's, uh, right. Beanie Man's Who Am I? Was, I, was that, was that I, a story? Had beat, I had the beat before Beanie Man. Oh, okay. Beanie Man came, he was on tour and he came back. And he was the last one to record and then the producer was going to close the beat out. So, um, of course, um, you know, when the producer told me he's going to close the beat out, I had wires in my mouth. So, I went to the doctor the same day before the wires were to be taken out. And I said, yo, I got to take them out, man. So I went to the studio at the same time, you know, and, and I did hands in here, Nike here, right, right, right. and it started doing good in the dance hall in Jamaica. So you know that sound was born. It's just, I mean, undescribable in the sense that, boom, like you, you, you know it's you. Well, well, it's a blessing. And, and growing up listening to Barrington Levy, half by antenna saw, um, you know, I'm, I'm just blessed to have my own identity. Right. You know, because I remember, as I said earlier years, it was like, it was like singing like Sanchez and that vibe, you know? So I'm just blessed to, to have my own sound, you know? So, you know, and it came from that situation, you know? But it's not just the sound with you, it's also the lyrical content. Because right. you, you, you mix you mix humor, but yeah, yeah conscious. I mean, you, you know, you. Well, well, I, I'm, I'm not the greatest lyricist, but. Um, <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I just think I'm more focused on what is going to move the people, okay. what they're going to sing along to. What, when I go to a concert, I, I don't want my, my song to be all about just the lyrics. Right. You know, I'm not that type of performer. You know, you have those type of performer where you know they're going to come with that vibe. Right. You know, but, but my thing is just happy and fun. Like a song like Take For Yourself, you know? Right. It's just something fun, you know, and it, it, it's just rep repetitive. Right. And people like it, you know? Right. You know, broke it down. You know, so it's not even much about the lyrics for me. You know, but when I do get into it, I do get into it like Sweet Jamaica, you know? Kill them with the, kill them with the, kill them with the heads I Kill them with the no. It was just like both of us came out at the same time and um, a mis a, a, an unfortunate situation again you know where his record label chose you know to go with him alone on a song that me and him did together so it was a kind of bad taste you know but we, we're way past that you know he he's like one of the icons of dance one, one of the biggest dance stars that we have you know so you know i'm just blessed to be a part of his his journey you know right i mean in terms of your journey at one point you actually right. stopped the journey well i didn't get to I, I, yeah, I, I wanted did, to yeah. get off the bus, you know? Right. Because, you know, when you're working with people, are you, are you, are you, um, are you doing it for so many years? And then um, you start feeling like you're doing a nine to five. Right. It, started, it starts feeling not fun anymore. And if you're around people, who, who doesn't give you that energy and, and you feel like, oh, this is just people just around because of what I can bring to the table, right. then it becomes like, you know, you don't enjoy it anymore. Right. So, so what happened? Did you, did you actually take a break or you just... No, I didn't get to because then I am blessed. Right. Came out at the same time and it's that mashing up the whole place. Right. So I was just back on the road. Did it feel different when you came back? Or was it just... Well, I didn't get to leave. You I, didn't, I didn't leave, go anywhere. But, but where did those feelings go though? Like well, when I, mean, I saw what I am blessed was doing, I realized, you know, this is where I'm supposed to be.